Alright guys, so I didn't film much, but we busted it out. We got the whole thing kind of primered up. Got the Bondo stuff patched. We're ready to paint the top half and the bottom half, I think, on the actual body of the car. So tonight, Bondo front fenders, get ready to sand them. Paint the top half of this car. Paint the bottom half of this body of the car. Then hopefully tomorrow we can paint at least the front fenders, get them on, and get lights. And we'll see how far we get from there. Um, I gotta finish riveting, getting the metal on, getting all tacked down. Probably work on that tonight too. It's definitely crunch time. My mom is in the area now, so we gotta be a little more stealthy over the next few days. I'm trying to get this done till. One of my brothers and sisters get down here for the big reveal. And hopefully we can get it more put together than it is and give it a, give it the old college try. Try to get it there together for the seals and stuff in, like different gaskets and stuff on the body yet. We're just going to temporarily put stuff up just so we can give it to her. So make sure you stay tuned for this episode, painted, and get it rock and roll from there all right guys here we go all right guys it's been uh, an hour or so plus getting old tape prep takes a long time so we're just trying to get everything prepped up ready for the top half of the paint to get put on and we're just getting there all the lines and all the junk taped off so we can try to uh, get it going tonight all right guys about go time it's starting to get late we gotta get paint we got the old paint there it is beautiful blue we got some enamel hardener in there it's setting up we got it mixed in and then we're gonna get this whipped out whipped into shape that's gonna be so slick it's gonna look so good. Right at him. So good. Yep. We're gonna get this together. We're, gonna, we're just gonna start winging it. I'm just gonna start painting. I'm gonna start working on the front fenders, doing some bondo action and some sanding and rust stopping. Old Rustoleum rust stopper. And so let's get her done.
All right, guys, there it is. Hours of painting, and we have this awesome blue on top. So we are pretty impressed with our $30, $35 hardware store paint setup. Um, we did use the enamel hardener and mixed it in with it, and it definitely helped and helped it like all smooth out and flow better, which is definitely a plus. And then we used a, a super fine sponge kind of roller. We actually rolled the entire car and we gave it this cool texture on top, which I really like and I've seen on the old interwebs and so far I'm liking it. So we got a heater going right here. We're gonna keep it warmer in the shop, let it do its thing and uh, get dry overnight hopefully keep the dust and junk out of it and then if we need another coat we'll work on another coat on it sooner than later maybe tomorrow night we'll see how that goes but we have progress so that's always good also got the front fenders kind of bondoed up and prepped for sanding so we can get those painted blue as well get the insides lined and then we can work on the ivory on the bottom half of the car so it should be awesome, it should look really cool, and we're liking the results so far. So if you guys liking what you see, comment below if you have any questions or concerns about our uh, rolled on hardware store paint job, and uh, let me hear your opinions about that. Some more to come from Wide Open Throttle, thanks for tuning in, Till next time.